my kids, I, I'm, I'm not sure if they're still over the novelty of not having to go to school yet, if I'm honest, but Zoom school is terrible. Like, where's the online support group? Just, can you link me to that? Because it's terrible. I know, they like changed the whole math curriculum, so it's like impossible to do. <laughs> I just, I just go like, I think it's important for you to learn on your own. Yes. If I'm being really honest as a parent, you know, you enjoy your kids going off to school just so you, just yeah. so you can get a little bit of, you can relax a little bit. When I had children and both, and my children are 11 years old, I have, I have twin daughters, Dolly and Charlie. When I had them, I didn't think I would be spending this much time with them. I really didn't. I was not cut out for uh, for teaching. It's not been something that I uh, was trained to do. Um, <laughs> you know, Harper is extremely social and she misses her friends. And part of her school experience um, and learning was being there physically. So that's been really hard. I've always, you know, given teachers a ton of credit, but I now give them my all. I give them I a whole new level. Of a whole new level. Like their Christmas gifts this year will be yeah. <laughs> way better. They were good. They all, now they will be way better. They all need um, a fat raise. Yeah, they don't <laughs> get paid enough. That's for sure. Shuffling the kids from Zoom call to Zoom call was not our forte. It was it's yeah. not our not our best moment as parents. Um, <laughs> we actually we actually took a we kind of said you know what if they're not going back like let's just take it at our own pace. And so we take it into the summer a little bit. Um, we were kind of home, we had homeschooled at one point anyway. Yeah. Um, and they were going to a homeschool co-op. So it's, yeah, it's, um, it was really fun to take a little bit of uh, a more active role in their education. Like my wife and I, we're not teachers. We're te we can teach our kids, but we're not teachers. And I give so much respect for the actual teachers that are out there and what they get, what they have to do with, with the classrooms. Because mm -hmm. imagining 20, 25, 30 kids in a classroom and one teacher and they're handling all those kids. I, I'm having enough time with the three of mine. Like as parents, you can become easily overwhelmed. And I know, you know, people in my circle, my girlfriends and I are like, I'm not built to be a teacher. I don't know how I'm gonna teach phonics or math. And there's new math now. It's different than the math that we- I know. <laughs> The good thing that I always remind myself is we're all in the same boat. We really truly are all in the same boat. So we're all, if you want to say behind, we're all behind together. First and foremost, <laughs> let's say let's say this first and foremost, is that teachers, when when this when this thing gets lifted and school comes back in, teachers need it, teachers need to be paid more, period. Like it, it there's that's without question. We already knew that, but now we know no 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 no. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And like we know no. We now. like we know <laughs> no. Like yeah. Well I like to point out to people that people who homeschool um, have typically one parent who's not working mm -hmm. um, because it is a huge investment of time and energy. Um, and you will go crazy if you try and have a full-time job and school your children, which is essentially what we're being told to do right now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, have a full-time job, work, and also like put your kids in front of a television so they can watch Zoom classes all day, which is like very, forgive me, unnatural. Um, like, meaning no, if totally. I were a kid, yeah. I'd be like, I'm gonna sit where for how long? Like, that's yeah. what's happening. So for those of us who are homeschoolers, one of the things that we know, and my kids have never been in school, um, they have taken classes in homeschool groups, which are, you know, small groups yeah. a couple times a week, which we don't do anymore, obviously. <laughs> um, it's really important to realize that we're all in this boat together. Whatever's going to happen to your kids this year is happening pretty much to everyone's kids. Um, no one's child is going to fall behind in terms of their academic excellence in any way that we need to be anxious about. I think what's important is being gentle with yourself, knowing that your kids are gonna have a lot more video game time and TV and movie time than you would like. They're also gonna eat a lot of junk food because that's apparently happening too. Um, and we need to not fight with our children every day. Right now, your kid will get to college. This isn't gonna impede them. If some days slide and they get behind, everybody's in the same boat. Yeah. All you can do is what you can do. It's not worth your child's feeling extra pressure. Yeah. It's a very hard thing for us parents to balance because you know a lot of us are still trying to work and get things done on top of it. I've never argued with my children more in my life than when I had to actually be their teacher. And the funny part is before I was a Real Housewives of New Jersey, um, I am a certified, I have a BA in elementary education. I am a teacher. Oh, no. I mean, <laughs> yeah. and I was like, this is crazy. This is so hard. I can't do this. Like the math was 
gibberish to me, like literal gibberish. I'm like, is this uh, is this in another language? I don't I don't even know.